so hello everyone welcome to yarpedia education so you know from this year onward for gate 2024 there is one more new paper which is being added and it's a very significant addition by the iit committee that is ds and ai data science and artificial intelligence now you know you can see behind me it's a csc and non csc you know Computer science students are obviously eligible to write DS and AI as a secondary paper. If we see the other side, there are other branches which are non-CS branches like electronics, electrical, mechanical, instrumentation, etc. There are many more others also. They are also made eligible to write data science and artificial intelligence as a second paper. Now, there is a debate or doubt in the mind of those students who are coming from the non-CSC background like electronics, electrical, instrumentation, mechanical, etc. that is it wise to write second paper as DS and AI? Yes, on any day is it wise or it is wise to write this as a second paper. Why I am saying this? Because data science and artificial intelligence doesn't require any hardcore programming. If you make yourself comfortable with one of the programming language which is Python and very simple to interpret and understand, you can communicate very easily as compared to C and C++ language with this Python language, then you must be in good position to crack this DS and AI paper code even coming from the non csc background. See, data is everywhere in today's time. It's not about whether you are coming from the CSC or coming from the non csc If I give you some sample of data and ask you to find or model or ask you to find the solution for some existing problem, then it's not about your background, you are coming from the CSC background, non csc background. You must have that problem solving sense. You must be very good in creating the logics. You must be very good in identifying and configuring what the statistics of the data is saying. It means it's not about CS and non CS. It's about your visualization. It's about your imagination. It's about your curiosity and it's about your problem solving skills. Yes, definitely there will be need of some programming language and tools to solve these kind of problem, to find the solution, to make an intelligent system. But that doesn't make sure that if you are from the CSC background only then you can do the good thing. In today's time, 80% of the students who are doing their graduation in non-CSC background, they are opting their career also in the DS and AI. It means if they can do it, then you can also do it. So guys, don't make these kind of imagination that we need to have a very deep understanding of the programming structure, programming skills. Yes, there is a requirement. But it's not like a deep requirement and it's not like that you must have the entire knowledge of the computer science. If you see the syllabus of the computer science is totally different. Yes, computer science student might be having an edge because they already have learned so many languages in their curriculum. So they might find these new languages, new tools and new library files somewhere synchronizing with their already existing knowledge. This might give them an edge. But when it comes to interpret, understand the data set, to find the solution, to configure the pattern, use the statistics in that pattern and find the ultimate and some tangible results or conclusion, then it doesn't matter whether you are coming from the CSC or whether you are coming from the non-CSC. So my advice to all the non-CSC student is, if you are looking forward to join DS and AI industry as a career option, then take this as a second paper and you know, your PDA education launched the very first module for this. Start your journey with us. That module is very compact and everything is being taken care. It is designed also so that it can be helpful for your campus placement, off campus also and along with side that also for the gate paper. So we wish you all the best. Thank you.